Well guys, fourth instar. And one of them's cannibalized. So I am now taking that one out. As I just lost an in uh this colour. Shoot. Yep, fourth instar. Oh well it was fun whilst the experiment lasted. Now I'm gonna separate them. Nice one. Yes, people. Been eaten. The legs missing. That's a shame. Kind of knew it was coming to a certain degree, but just want to find out for myself. Now I have. Yeah. Oh well. Well guys, this is what is left of the colony. They've all been emptied. Um, all slings have now been sold, but two, but all the slings from the colony have been sold. And yes, it was a fun experiment whilst it last, but uh, Sadly, I always said, once the cannibalism started, that was it. But what I've learned from this experiment is the major factor that between third and fourth in star, they, they take a great leap in size. And I've realized that the fourth in star is the stage where they really started to double and the slings that are left behind still as third in star are tiny in comparison and they just eat them as though they were crickets but interesting though that both two slings um, molted at this, almost on the same day really so both four thin stars were fine with each other they only ate the smaller siblings which was quite interesting really so it's not the fact that it was they were in together, which obviously contributed factor, but it was the fact that they were a lot smaller and easily easily just picked on them, I guess, they were like bullies. But um yes. So now I can categorically say if people ask me, should you keep them as colonies, I can say yes until third instar. But when they start to pop into fourth, get them the heck out because that is when the cannibalism happens. So, that's that. Yes, anyway, whilst we're here, I'll do a quick update video.